Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Krompiatek from Coley at Canisius College. In this video we will cover how to share files securely in Google Drive. Google Drive is not only useful for backing up files, but also for securely sharing files with another person or with groups of people or with a class. Let's get started. To access Google Drive, go to mycanisius.edu and sign in if you have not already signed in. On the left hand side there is the section titled My Applications. And under My Applications is a hyperlink titled Google Drive. Your Google Drive will likely look different from mine. If this is your first time accessing Google Drive, your drive will be empty. We are going to do two things when we are sharing our items. The first is we are going to share just a single file to a single person, which is what I will show now. To upload a file, I'm simply just going to right click on an empty space in my Google Drive and choose Upload Files, or I can upload an entire folder if I need to. For right now, I'll just choose a single file. Just upload this file, click on Open, and wait for that file to be uploaded. I have all these folders, but at the very bottom, I can see my files that are not in any of the folders that I have set up. And I'll right click on it, and I'll go to Share. So right now it says that I'm the only one here. Uh, I've got my me, my email address, and it says that I'm the owner. I can add people by typing in their names. So I can add in Mark Gallimore, who is the director of Coley. I can make them the editor, the viewer, the commenter. Editor, they can edit the file and they can share the file and do other things with the file. Commenter means that they can only comment on the file, and viewer means that they can only view the file. You can put other people into this as well. This person, and that'll be it. If I need to, I can actually hit the X button to the right of the person's name, if they have a name, otherwise it will just be their email address, and get rid of them from the list. I can notify people. I can send them a message. Uh, I'm going to tell Mark. And then I can click on send. If I keep notify selected, it will send this person an email saying, hey, you've been added to a file. If I don't do that, then I need to email the person the link to the file. But if I go back to this file, right click on it, go to share. I can now see that Mark Gallimore has been added to this file, and I can actually change their position and status on the file. Below that, you can also see that it says restricted only people added can open with this link. This will mean that the person or people will need to log into Google Drive using the email address that you typed in earlier. This is the most secure form of sharing as only the people added can access this link. The next option which it says change link to Canisius College is to share it so that only people with a Canisius College email or Canisius College account can access file. You do not need to type in an email address, you just need to share the link, which the option to do that I just showed you. And then all you have to do is click on copy link. And you can also choose, okay, so these people are can be viewers, commenters, or editors. You can click on copy link and then you can share the link with whoever needs to have the link shared with them. The final access option is anyone with the link can access this file. So right where it says Canisius College, there's a drop down now. And I'll choose anyone with the link. Similar to anyone at Canisius College can see and have this file shared to them, except this time no one has to sign in. Anyone with the link can view this resource that you have created and they don't have to sign into google drive whatsoever i'll hit the blue done button in the lower right hand corner now if you are planning on sharing lots of files via google drive to your students for example we recommend making a folder and getting a list of student email addresses i already have a list of ad uh, emails available to me but if you are unsure how to get this list we will do that quickly as well I'll make a folder really quick and call it test folder in Google Drive. I'll do that by right clicking on an empty space in Google Drive and clicking on new folder. I'll call this one quadruple A test 
folder. That will just make it easier for me to find this folder later. And then click on the blue create button in the lower right hand corner. There it is. And now to get that list of uh, student emails, we need to go to D12, which I already have open on a separate tab. And I already have a class selected in D12 as well. We'll quickly go through how to get that list of emails. So we need to go to grades, click on export, and you can choose for the key field either org defined ID, which is basically their Canisius College ID number or their username or both. I choose one or the other for this one because that means one less column to worry about and one less column to uh, export. The next thing is user details, email. Just make sure that that one is selected. And the final thing is to make sure that since we don't need any grades for this particular thing, to select the checkbox to the left of grade item and then deselect it just to ensure that no grades are selected. Then choose export to Excel. You'll get this pop up and it says please wait, displaying download, and now it's telling me that I'm done. I can click on the blue download button in the lower left hand corner, but like I said, I already have a file available to me. And we'll spread this out. And here's my emails. I'll select the B2 all the way down to B5, which is all the emails. I'll hit Control C and I will minimize my spreadsheet so that I have access to it really quickly later on. And I'll go back to my Google Drive, right click on my test folder, and I'll do the same thing like I did earlier to share it with just one person. I'll click on share, and then I'll just hit control and V to paste in the email addresses that I copied before. Once you paste it in, you might get this little notification that a Google account cannot be found. Students will still be able to access this folder that you shared with them because they have Google accounts attached to their Canisius accounts. However, Others may need to create a Google account, and you can give them editor access or viewer access or commenter access. For the files that I'm going to share in this folder, I just want students to have viewer access only. I only want them to be able to view the files. That's it. So I'll click on viewer. And then I'll click on send. Share outside of my organization. I'll just hit share anyway. And now you can see that there's a little uh, person inside this folder, whereas this one over here is not shared and does not have that little person. I'll double click on that. And the reason why we recommend doing a folder and sharing a folder with your class is because anything that you share in this folder will be shared with your class. You won't have to worry about accessing the sharing settings and copying the list of email addresses again. So, for example, I'll right click this make a new Google document. And here it says, create in a shared folder. Are you sure you want to do that? The create item will be shared to the same people as the selected folder. I'll say create and share. And then I'll click on the blue share button up top just to show you how this is looking. Let's save. And now I can see, okay, there's me, the owner of this file there's my students. This also works for files that you upload. They will be automatically shared to the people that you shared the folder with. So I'll right click, click on upload files, and I'll just upload that same PDF that I uploaded earlier. I'll right click on the PDF, go to my share settings, and there we go. I have the students that I had already shared the file with. That is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at helpdesk at Thank you for watching it and have a good rest of your day.